Councilman Ash Kara is poised to introduce a new proposal on Wednesday to ban sugary drinks and whole milk at city properties and events. It's a move, he says, to promote healthier diets. The critics say a government shouldn't dictate what people think. Kara first needs the proposal to be approved by the council's agenda-setting committee. On Tuesday, the council voted to ban styrofoam takeout containers at restaurants. The goal of that ban is to help protect the environment and keep styrofoam, a product that takes a long time to degrade, out of local landfills and waterways. Groups like San Jose Silicon Valley Chamber of Commerce oppose the ban, arguing it's too much of a financial stress on small businesses. Angelina Wayne, I see in San Francisco. WeChat users are under scrutiny due to the spread of online rumors through said popular application. Ding Ren, head of cybersecurity at Zhejiang Public Security Department, said it is illegal to spread rumors and false information in such public venues without first verifying the information. Before this collective crackdown came upon WeChat, dozens of others have already been arrested for spreading internet-based rumors. The spokesperson at the company promoted WeChat's reporting mechanism, and Tambo further justified WeChat by claiming WeChat will not pass the burden of checking the accuracy of information for its 500 million users worldwide. Although many people support the government's efforts to fight false rumors, they worry for the public's interest in social affairs. Angelina Wang, ICN, San Francisco. <laughs> Department of Transportation officers stationed in Chinatown in Confucius Plaza bus station to act an investigation for overload issue. Officers to stop minibus then to check the driver's license and other documents. In addition, officers often will be waiting at the Manhattan Bridge and waiting for passengers drop off and boarding checks for overloading. A driver said some minibus drivers do not have their commercial bus driver's license and only own a regular driver's license, so officers put more attention on the license. The overall issues for minibus in Chinatown have been a while, and officers investigated for at least two years. The tickets for drivers are increased and cannot stop the drivers to take more passengers for overload. The transportation department will inspect more often in the future for overload issues in Chinatown. <laughs>